Since the release of ChatGPT in November of 2021, the power of AI has grown so much to the point where we're already on the verge of seeing ChatGPT 5, which we still don't know exactly when, but the rumors are that the release will be sometime in the next few months. But not everybody is so happy about this release. There's this organization called the Future of Life Institute, which is an organization dedicated to the safe regulation of AI and technology based in North America. Their main goal is to steer transformative technology towards benefiting life. And about a year ago, FLI started a petition urging AI laboratories worldwide to halt their large-scale AI development projects for a minimum of six months. Now, specifically, they want to pause any developments that surpasses the capability of chat GPT-4. This is a tall ask for any company who's worried about revenue, worried about being first to market, to basically sit on their hands and stop development in order for chat GPT-5 not to be released. But why such an extreme? request? Well, they aim to address potential safety and ethical concerns associated with the rapid advancements of AI technology. They claim that ChatGPT5 will be so powerful that our society might not be able to catch up to the computing power and that we're at risk of losing more jobs even more rapidly. Fast forward to 2024, just one year later, and over 30,000 people have signed this petition. We have big names like Steve Wozniak from Apple and Elon Musk from Tesla who are on board. So let's talk about the FLI strategy here, break it down and see if it's a good idea to even try to pause the AI labs around the world. First, let's start by breaking down what AI, specifically large language models or LLMs like GPT-4 really are. These are advanced computer programs designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the data that they've been trained. They can write essays, they can write code, and they can even mimic conversation. Now, while that sounds impressive, the way AI is portrayed in the media can often be a bit over the top. You might hear claims like AI can replace doctors or it'll make human workers obsolete, but let's pump the brakes for just one second on that. In reality, AI's capabilities are grounded in handling specific tasks where they've been trained with lots and lots of data. Yes, they can assist in many ways, but they don't process understanding or awareness. They mimic the patterns that they've been seeing in their training. So while AI can help a doctor with data analysis and predictions, it's not about to perform surgeries or take over the healthcare system anytime soon. So why all of the hype? Well, AI stories sell. They grab attention, they spark imagination, but we need to distinguish between the AI that's making life easier and the AI of apocalyptic tales. By understanding the real capabilities and limitations of AI, we can better navigate its roles in our lives without the unnecessary fear. So here are five arguments on why we think that stopping ChatGPT5 is not really necessary. First up, we have AI and education, especially in fields like computer science. There's a fact growing concern that AI might soon replace the need for human skills. But is that really the case? While AI can write code and even debug programs, it's not about to replace the role of human developers. Instead, learning to work with AI is becoming a crucial part of the curriculum. It's a tool that can enhance how we learn and what we can create. For instance, AI can help students understand complex concepts faster or automate routine tasks, allowing more time for creative and critical thinking. So rather than fearing AI, students and educators are finding ways to integrate those technologies to improve education and to prepare for a future where AI and humans can work hand in hand. Next up, it has a huge ton of limitations. Now, I've personally used AI in my programming projects and it's not all smooth sailing. For simple tasks, AI feels like a miracle worker, but when you push it to tackle more complex problems, the limitations become abundantly clear. AI heavily relies on data it's being fed. And if it hasn't seen something before, or if the task requires genuine creativity, it struggles. Some people have tried building a .NET application using AI, for instance, and the more complex the project got, the more the AI fumbled. It's great for assistance, but so far, with the technology we're seeing, it still can't replace the human touch and creative problem solve. And what about the marketing magic behind AI? AI is severely overhyped, and companies like OpenAI are masters at this 
this game. They create buzz, making AI seem closer to achieving artificial general intelligence than it really is. Now, this hype is not just about selling products. It's about shaping perceptions. And by presenting AI as a step away from AGI, companies can attract more investment, influence tech development, and set the stage for regulatory discussions. While it's true that AI is advancing, we're not at the brink of creating machines that think and understand like humans. Much of this is strategic marketing designed to keep you engaged and perhaps a bit anxious about the future of AI. Then we have AI's impact on our culture, particularly how it's reshaping content creation across the internet from social media to educational resources. AI tools are just about everywhere, helping to churn out articles, videos, and even art at an unprecedented pace. But this brings up a curious notion, the dead internet theory. And this theory suggests that much of what we see online could be generated by AI, making you wonder how much of the internet is still made by human. Imagine scrolling through a feed where half of the posts are created by bots. It changes how we perceive authenticity and creativity. While AI can fill the web with content, it also risks diluting the unique and unpredictable nature that makes the internet a vibrant place. Lastly, despite these advancements, there is a crucial concept to understand about technology called the technological plateau. And just like many innovators before it, AI is likely to reach a point where improvements become incremental rather than revolutionary like everything else that's been coming out in 2024. Historically, every major technology from the steam engine to the smartphone has ex experienced rapid growth followed by a leveling off. And AI is no different. We've seen how AI, despite the hype, isn't the all-powerful force it's made out to be. It has real impacts and genuine benefits that also face significant limitations. So what are your thoughts on AI? Have you used AI in your own work or studies? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this information helpful, please give us a like or subscribe. It means the world to us. Thanks so much for watching.